Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another 10 card one kit video and I want to say thank you for everyone who liked the last video. It got great feedback so I'm going to try and continue to make 10 cards with each kit. I'm not going to lie, this one I started running out of steam a little bit towards the end. I have some cards I really like and some cards that I'm just like meh about. So I'm going to go through each card individually. If I made it, I will say it. If I was inspired by someone, I will link it below and say it in the video as well. And I'm going to go through the video kind of fast because I just don't want to make it too long. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. The first card is by Yana Smakala, Smakula, I'm not sure how to say that, but I pretty much used her card design with the papers and the diagonal cut. I used a different one, Fussy Cut Out a Flower, and Heat Embossed the Sentiment Thank You. That was a very easy, quick card to make. The second one might be my favorite card that I made. I wanted to make an ombre stamp with the brush strokes and blue because I really wanted to use the embossing powder that came in the kit. I used thank you sentiment to make this super easy card and you could repl replicate this very, very easy and make a ton of cards at once. This card was inspired by housebuiltofcards.com. Again, fussy cut out a flower. I used a larger sentiment, just wanted to say you're amazing, happy birthday, and I used the pattern background, which makes it so easy. It looks like, you know, there might be a couple pieces of paper stitched together, but it's not. Now, this one is a Jennifer McGuire inspired technique where you do the first set of stamping and then the second generation set of stamping in the exact same place. And then I die cut out a rectangle and put just wanted to say you're amazing in the middle. One, I use gold. One, I use black. I love this technique and I swear I use it on like any card I possibly can. This one was a little bit unique. I wanted to try something different with the wafer die, make like an like a bottom card. I don't know where I was going with this, but I don't think it turned out 100% amazing, but I still think it was cute. So I just put this all at the bottom and used a stick adhesive at the back so I could easily piece everything back together. And then put the just wanted to say, you're amazing, happy birthday. This took quite a while just because of all of the placement back of the wafer dies. But I think I could execute this a little bit better next time. Now, the next card uh, was just a pretty simple card. Again, this background's so easy because it's split into three. So I went ahead and did that, cut out from specialty paper, another rectangle with a rectangle in the middle, and heat embossed. Thank you. Super easy to do, super quick, which is why I liked some of the papers that were in this paper pack. This I kind of went wild with. I don't know why. I just wanted to do a plaid background, so I took two of my purples to make a background with the thinner and thicker brush strokes and did the background. And then I took the brush stroke sentiment, you got this, and used a very dark purple and fussy cut that out to put the sentiment on the top. Very simple, very easy. You can make this multicolored or do whatever colors you have in your collection. And I just thought of something a little bit different. Now this one, Nothing special, just wanted to use more of the background paper and the wafer dies and the specialty paper. So I cut the wafer dies out of the specialty paper, put a happy birthday in the middle. I wish I had more gray paper, if I'm being honest, because I just wish I could put the sentiment on the gray. Now this one was inspired by Sarah Moriman. Now I use a white balance a lot in this video so you can see the colors correctly, but this is the only one that's not showing it correctly. The Simon Says Stamp Paper is a little bit off white. So the colors didn't show up as nicely on them. It kind of looks dingy in real life, so I'm probably not going to keep this card. But for the sake of inspiration and knowing someone else made this card way better, uh, I think it's still worth keeping in here. Uh, another thing that I realized, I'm not good at Nouveau drops. I cannot make them look good. I watch like Jennifer McGuire use them like a pro, and I don't know what the tips are on these. Maybe I need to look them up on YouTube again just to see what I can do. I don't know, um, but I think you pretty much get this 
use a bunch of different colored in ink pads, use the hearts and the brush strokes and heat embossed, you're going to rock this. And those are all the cards that I made. There are some I love and there are some I think are just okay, which I'm pretty excited about because when I first took a look at this card kit, while I loved it, I just was like, wow, I have to think of 10, 10 things to do with these. Um, and of course I could have used like the same layout with the paper and whatnot, but I tried to make each card unique and draw inspiration from as many people as I could. Now let's go through what I have left, a ton of multimedia matte glue. Didn't really use it that much this time, but I think it's a staple for crafting. The embossing powder, I have a ton left and that will go into my collection. The paper, I have way more paper than I did last time. While I think this paper was beautiful, I'm going to keep it. I hope I use it. If not, I'll probably just toss it. I'm definitely going to keep the specialty rose gold paper. I didn't use nearly as much as I thought I would. The stamp set is, of course, going into my collection. And then these two envelopes will go with two of the cards. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you are interested in seeing more. Have a fabulous day. Bye.